He breathed for a moment. Then he breathed no more. The child is dead. Tell her what what I say. You could adopt the child. She wanted her own. I may suggest it even resembles your wife need never know it would be a blessing to her and to the child child in the same moment. It, 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 it could be ours, but... On this night, Mr. Thorne, God has given you a son. Just came to start packing. What? Well, we can't waste any time. We're leaving in the morning. Bonjour, Lo Carlo. Bonjour, Mr. Chanel, the case of. Hey, yes, hello. Oh! What are you talking about? I am talking about London. I am talking about the ambassador to the court of St. James. Well, what about him? You're married to him. What? 
Hey, it's me. I'm, I'm, I'm appointed ambassador to Great Britain. I mean, to warm it up, cozy it up. Furniture up there, either. Oh. You know, you could be too sexy for the White House. When did two old college roommates not have much to talk about? Since one of them assumed the awesome burden of the presidents. <laughs> I'll give my regards to the first lady. I'll do my best. Why don't you change your mind? Fly over with me? No, I better stay here and fool around with Damien. Mm. Where is he? Hmm? He's right behind us. Damien? Damien! 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 Oh my God, Robert! Damien! Robert, wait! Damien! Damien! Oh. Oh, you little monkey, don't you ever do that again! Saving a bit for his canonization. How's that? I don't know if we just got the heir to the Thorn Millions here or Jesus Christ himself. Oh, 
There's an article on the suicide, uh, your nanny, the one that jumped. You say that she left a suicide note, sir. Not true. Mr. Ambassador, did you know she was on drugs? Would you mind? Mr. Thorne, did she use drugs? Not that I know of. Mr. Ambassador, the article said... I don't care possible... what the article said. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Will you uh, send me a bill for the damage? Well, that's all right, Mr. Ambassador. Let's just say you owe me. Corporal. Okay, outside. Yes? There's a Father Brennan here to see you. Who? A priest named Father Brennan from Rome. He says it's a matter of urgent personal business. Never heard of him. He says he just needs a minute. Something about a hospital. Donation time. All right, send him in. I didn't know you were such a soft touch. On that trip to uh, Saudi Arabia, why isn't it the right time? Oh, it's personal, Tom. I just uh, don't feel like leaving home right now. Yes, Father. We haven't much time. You must listen to what I have to say. All right, what is it? You must accept Christ as your Savior. You must accept him now. 
Forgive me, Father. Uh, didn't I understand that you have a matter of some uh, urgent personal business? You must take communion. Drink the blood of Christ and eat his flesh. For only if he is within you can you defeat the son of the devil. I see. He's killed once. He'll kill again. He'll kill until everything that's yours is his. Father, would you only mind Only through waiting? Christ can you fight him. Accept the Lord Jesus. Drink his blood. I've locked the door, Mr. Thorne. Yes? Would you send for a security guard, please? I beg you, Mr. Thorne, listen to what I have to say. Ambassador Thorne? I was at the hospital, Mr. Thorne, the night your son was born. I witnessed the birth. Sir? I beg you. All right. Stand by. What do you want? To save you, Mr. Thorne. So Christ will forgive me. What do you know about my son? Everything. And what is that? I saw its mother. I saw my wife. I saw its mother. You're referring to my wife. Its mother, Mr. Thorne. This is blackmail, then come out and say it. What is it that you're trying to say? His mother was a... Everything all right, sir? You sounded strange. The door was locked. I want this gentleman escorted out of here. Okay, let's go. Accept Christ each day. Drink his blood. Get him off the ground. All right, Father, come on. Father. Thank you. is here. She says she's the new governess. Well, that's a start. Show her in. Come on, please. Ambassador and Mrs. Thorne. How do you do? Hello. I, uh, I know it's a difficult time for you, so I'll not intrude on your grief. I'm here to take away some of your troubles and anxieties. We'll soon help your little boy to forget what's happened. I'm afraid, sir, that... Uh, some of our young nannies, they get homesick. They have boyfriend problems. I left all that behind a long time ago. Well, now, if, uh, if you let me see your boy. Well, yes, of course. Uh, he's upstairs. I'll show you where it well, is. Well, why don't you just leave us alone at first? Let us get acquainted in our own way. Well, he's shy with new people. Oh, no. <laughs> Not with me, he won't be. Well, I, I don't think... I that... think it'll be fine. Go on. 
Give it a try. All right, then. Mrs. Horton, this way, Mrs. Bale. I like her. She seems all right. Where'd you find her? Where did I find her? Yeah. I didn't find her. I assumed you found her. Round that corner to the right, and it's the door facing you. Thank you. I'll have your things sent up in a moment. Thank you. Oh, Mrs. Baylock. Yes, Mom? Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, we're a little bit confused. Oh, why is that? Well, we don't know how you got here. Oh, oh, the, uh, the agency. The agency? Well, yes, they, uh, they read in the paper about the... About your first nanny, so they uh, they sent you another. Well, that's it. Well, I'll, I'll call to confirm that. Oh, um, here are my references. Well, thank you very much. Well, if um, if I could see your boy now. Fear, little one. I am here to protect thee. Any minute, Horton, I think. Very good, sir. It is my wish and my husband's wish that Damien accompanies us to church. Kathy! I'll be there in a minute! Now please have him dressed at once. And uh, excuse me for speaking my mind, Mom, but do you really think a five-year-old will understand the goings-on of an Episcopal wedding? Will you have my son dressed and in the car in five minutes? Thank you very much. Ambassador. Welcome, sir. Good morning. No! 
He's a perfectly healthy boy. I mean, we, we have nothing to worry about with him, not physically or, or otherwise. He just had a bad moment, you know, like a, a fright. Yes? I'm leaving now, Mom. Is there anything else you wanted? Nothing, thank you. Good night. Good night. I think the best thing to do with a bad day like this is end it. the master of the house. What is this? Sir? The dog. Beautiful, isn't he? We found him outside. Who gave you permission to bring a dog in the house? I thought we could use a good watchdog, sir. And Damien loves him. He gave you a fright, did he, sir? Yes. Well, you see how good he is. As a watchdog, I mean. I think you'll be grateful on your long trips away, sir. Mrs. Baylor, we don't need a dog. And if we do, I'll pick him out myself. Damien's taken quite a fancy to him, sir. Tomorrow morning, you'll call the RSPCA. Tell them to collect the dog and find him another home. You understand? Safari Park. Animal compound to your left. Parking for refreshment and zoo area to your right. When driving through animal compounds, please keep all car windows closed.
go see the monkeys, okay? Mm -hmm. Silent this evening. Just tired, I guess. Sorry. Damien, all right? Oh, yeah, yeah. You sure? Yes. If there were anything wrong, you'd tell me, wouldn't you? Wrong? What could be wrong with our child, Robert? We're the beautiful people, aren't we? There's something wrong, isn't there? Kathy, is it so serious? Robert, I, I, I want, I need to see a psychiatrist. I, I have fears, I have such fears. What kind of fears? What kind? Oh, if I told you, you'd put me away. Kathy. Help me. Find me a doctor. I will. Of course I will. Keep that scrum tight! Get down low! Oh, come on! Let it go! Let it go! Let it go! Let it go. Let it go. Lost a bet. Oh, that's right. 27 or 3? Right. That'll be 3 quid. I thought it was 2. Rate of inflation, haven't you heard, old boy? <laughs> well done, George. Great stuff. Look, Robert, why don't you go and have a quick drink with the lads? That'll give me time to make sure everything's set up. Tomorrow, half past 2, Bishop's Park. Five minutes and you'll never see me again. Your wife is in danger. She'll die unless you come.
Father. Thanks again. Get on with it. Say what you have to say. When the Jews return to Zion, and a comet rips the sky, and the Holy Roman Empire rises, then you and I must die. From the eternal sea, he rises, creating armies on either shore, turning man against his brother, till man exists no more. Book of Revelations predicted at all. Well, I'm not here to listen to a sermon. It is by means of a human personality entirely in his possession that Satan will wage his last formidable offense. You said that my Go wife was... Go to the town of Megiddo in the old city of Jezreel. There see the old man Buganagan. He alone can describe how the child must die. Look here. He who will not be saved by the lamb will be torn by the beast. Will you stop? I'm here because you said my wife is in danger. She is pregnant. You're mistaken. That's nonsense. He will not allow the child to be born. He will kill it while it slumbers in the womb. What in God's name are you talking about? Your son, Mr. Thorne. The son of the devil. He will kill the unborn child. Then he will kill your wife. And when he is certain to inherit all that is yours, then, Mr. Thorne, he will kill you. That's enough. And with your wealth and power, he will establish his counterfeit kingdom here on Earth, receiving his power directly from Satan. You're insane. He must die, Mr. Thorne. You asked for five minutes, and you've got five minutes. Go to the city of Megiddo. See Buchenhagen before it's too late. Now, I've heard you. I want you to hear me. I never want to see you again. You'll see me in hell, Mr. Thorne. There we will share out our sentence.
Anything wrong? I just can't stand that noise. Oh, it's not all that bad. Good morning, Damien. Good morning, Debbie. What are we going to do? Home right Right. Mrs. Baylock! Yes, Mom? Would you take him out of here, please? Well, he's only playing. Would you just get him out of here, please? Yes, Mom. Come along, Damien. Excuse me, sir. With me, I just, I just don't seem to be able to. I don't know. Kathy, I love you. If this is what the doctor's doing to you. Do you think it's time I had a talk with him? Yes, you should. There's something he wants to talk to you about anyway. Oh? Robert, I... I don't ever want to have any more children. All right. Then you'll agree to an abortion. I'm pregnant, Robert. I just found out this morning. Yes? Yes, this is he. She knew how much you wanted one. Now she can't cope. She searches for reasons that won't make her feel inadequate. She has these fantasies. She fantasizes that your child is alien, that your child is evil. She thinks that the child is evil? The point is that this time another child will be disastrous. Well, in what way? Evil? Now, this is just fantasy. She also thinks the child isn't hers. The most important thing for you to do is to agree to an abortion. No. I'd like to know your reason. foretold that this pregnancy would be terminated. I'm going to fight to see that it's not. Forgive me, Doctor. No, please don't leave, Mr. Thorne. I'm sorry. I must get home.
Ambassador Thorne? Yes, Doctor. Yes. My name is Zim Becker. Is she all right? Well, she will recover. She's in there. Bed by the window. She has a concussion, a broken humerus, and, uh, well, some internal bleeding. Internal bleeding. Yeah. But she's pregnant. No. She's lost it. That's it. You know, you've got a lot to be grateful for. She's still alive. And with proper care, she can still have children. Let him kill me.
years. I'm sorry to bother you, Ambassador Thorne. Who is this? My name is Keith Jennings, sir, uh, the photographer whose camera got smashed at the embassy. I wonder if it would be possible to have a word with you here at my flat. It's about the camera. Uh, no, it's not about the camera. It's about you, Mr. Thorne. And the death of the priest. Uh oh. Go on. Do you notice anything unusual? No, sorry. Well, at first I thought this was just a fault in the film. It's a strange coincidence. Day that you were at the rugby match. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Only it's more pronounced this time and it's actually making contact with the body. And the rest, of course, history. I can't explain it. And that's why I started digging. The coroner's report shows that he was riddled with cancer, high on morphine most of the time. Injected himself two or three times a day. He knew that he was dying. Apparently, yes. He said that he wanted to be forgiven by Christ. Externally, his body was perfectly normal, except for one small thing in the inside of his right thigh. What is it? Three sixes. Six hundred and sixty-six. Concentration camp? That's what I thought. The biopsy says it's a birthmark. The best is yet to come. Pages of the Bible, thousands of them. Every inch of wall space covered, even the windows. even needed to be close to his church. There are 47, I counted them. I think he was trying to keep something out, don't you? The police thought he was insane, so they didn't mind me coming here and rummaging around to see if I could find anything of use. The first item is a diary. It didn't say anything about him. It's about you. What time you left the house, where you went, what restaurants you had your lunch in, what time your speaking engagements were. The last entry says that he was supposed to have met you in Bishop's Park, and that was date of the day he died. But the really important items are here. If we're to get to the bottom of this, we've got to start here. This first clipping is from the Astrologer's Monthly. Reports an unusual phenomenon. A comet changed its shape into a glowing star like the star of Bethlehem 2,000 years ago, only this one was on the other side of the world, the European continent, five years ago. The 6th of June, to be exact. Does that date mean anything to you? Then you recollect this other clipping. It's a birth announcement from a Rome newspaper. Also dated the 6th of June, five years ago. The day your son was born. Sixth month, sixth day. Was your son born at 6 a.m.? Yes, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to work out this birthmark, the three sixes. I'd like to help you try and find out. No. 
It's my problem. No, sir, you're wrong. It's my problem, too. When I came here with the police, I took some photographs. I happened to catch sight of my reflection in that mirror. Crazy, but I'm so frightened. But don't be afraid. You'll be all right here. You'll be perfectly all right. Oh, yes, I'm all right. What about Damien? I'll speak to Mrs. Horton. She'll look after him. They just got up and went. Oh, they left an address for you to send their last month's wages to. Well, didn't uh, Mrs. Horton say anything? Didn't Horton leave any explanation? No. But don't worry, sir. I can manage. I'll look into this when I get back. Well, just as you wish, sir. For Mrs. Blaylock. Sir? Last night, I saw that dog in Damien's room. I clearly told you... He's gone now, sir. They took him away this morning. Ospedale dei Cappuccini. Non è questo? Sì, ospedale dei Cappuccini. No. No. Io ricordo. La vecchia di Matone. This is the right address. Ah, ci fu un incendio anni fa. Ma cosa è successo? Ci fu un terribile incendio durante il quale il vecchio ospedale fu distrutto. Apparently there was a terrible fire and the old hospital burned down. È stato... Cinque anni fa. Five years ago. Aspetta, per favore. Ok. Surely a fire didn't destroy everything. There must have been some records. Mi dispiace. I'm sorry. Uh, I think everything was destroyed. But isn't it possible that there were some papers stored elsewhere? I do not know. Sister, this is most important to me. I adopted a child here. I'm searching for some records there of... There were no adoptions here. There was one. No, senor. It wasn't an actual adoption. You are mistaken. Wait. Birth records. If I gave you a date, no. an exact date... No. It's no use. The fire started in the hall of records in the basement. All the paperwork was there. Went up like a torch. Shut up the stairwells. The third floor became an inferno. The third floor? The nursery and maternity wards. Nothing left but ashes. Will excuse me, eh? Oh, what about the stair? Mm? Surely some survived. See, si, some. There was a tall man, a priest, dark eyes, piercing eyes. Ah, see, si. Padre Spiletto. Yes. He was principale. Yes, he was in charge, is he? Yes, he is alive. Is he here? No. Where? He's in a monastero in uh, Frosinone. Many were taken there. Many die. Perhaps he is die since, but he lived through the fire. I remember people say it was un miracolo. Frosinone? Si, 
il monastero di San Domenico. Dottor Michiello. Mille grazie, signora. Prego. Per favore, dottor Michiello, chiamato il Here we are. What is it? When the Jews return to Zion. That's it. The poem, when the Jews return to Zion. And there was something but a comet. Yes, that's here too. The shower of stars and the rise of the Roman Empire. Well, these are supposed to be the events that signal the birth of the Antichrist. The devil's child. It's making more sense. The Jews have returned to Zion, and there has been a comet. And as for the rise of the Roman Empire, scholars think that that could well mean the formation of the common market, the Treaty of Rome. Bit of a stretch. Yes, well, what about this? In Revelations, it says, he shall rise from the eternal sea. Well, that's the poem again. From the eternal sea, he rises, creating armies on either shore. That was the beginning of it. And theologians have already interpreted the eternal sea as meaning the world of politics the sea that constantly rages with turmoil and revolution. So the devil's child will rise from the world of politics. This is as far as we go. Let's have a look. His mind is active, but since the fire, he's not made a sound. We feed him and take care of his needs. And we pray for his recovery when his penance is completed. What penance? Woe to the shepherd who abandons his sheep. May his right arm wither and his right eye lose its sight. He's fallen from grace. Can you tell us why? For abandoning Christ. And how do you know he's abandoned Christ? He told us. He doesn't speak. There is some movement in his left hand. He was able to write it down. You will notice the curved line over the head. This indicates the hood of the monk, his own hood. The three sixes. Six is the sign of the devil. But why three of them? We believe it signifies the diabolical trinity. The devil, antichrist, and false prophet. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. For everything holy, there is something unholy. This is the essence of temptation.
Father Spilletto. My name is Thorne. There was a child. I want to know where that child came from. I am afraid it you is... You confess to them, now confess to me. What happened? Please, Signore. You said you knew its mother. Where is she now? I must insist that you do not... I beg you. Where is she? Answer me. Answer! Excuse me. something to you. Cervete. It is an old cemetery from Etruscan times. Grip to Sant'Angelo. It is nothing but ruins. Where is this place? But, signore, there is nothing there. Only graves. Where is it? You will find it on the map. It is perhaps 50 kilometers north of Rome.
Robert, over here. Sixth. Five years ago. Bambino Schiana. Infant boy. Same thing. Mojo. Native. Reacula. Conquer the tundra. In birth and death, the generations. In grace. Is my son buried here? This woman could be the mother of the child you adopted. Why here, in this terrible place?
Hello? Hello. Kathy? Hello, Robert. Is that you? Oh, I'm so glad you called. Kathy, darling. Now listen to me. Very carefully. Do just what I say. I want you to leave London right now. What do you mean, leave London, darling? I don't understand. I'm put through a call to the embassy. Tom Portman will meet you at the hospital and bring you here to Rome. Robert, what's happened? What's wrong? Please, darling, just, just do it. Get ready to leave. Oh, Robert, I don't think I can move very well. I... Kathy, do it. Okay. Y yes, all right. I'll, I'll, um, I'll try to be ready by the time he gets here. This is he. Tom? Found out about the town of Megiddo. It's derived from the word Armageddon. The end of the world. It's underground about 60 miles south of Jerusalem. Some excavation going on there. If only you could remember the name of the man you're supposed to see. It's Buchan Hagen. He was an exorcist. I read about him. That was his name. And I remember the poem. When the Jews return to Zion, and a comet fills the sky, and the Holy Roman Empire rises, and you and I must die. From the eternal sea, he rises, 
creating armies on either shore, turning man against his brother, till man exists no more. Kathy is dead. I want Damien to die, too. I am Bugenhagen. What is this place? The city of Jezreel. Town of Megiddo. The place where Christianity began. The little priest. Is he dead yet? Yes. Come along, Mr. Thorne. We had better get to work. You will excuse us. This is for Mr. Thorne alone. must be done on hallowed ground. A church. His blood must be spilled on the altar of God. This first knife is most important. It extinguishes physical life and forms the center of the cross. The subsequent placings extinguish spiritual life and should radiate outward like this. This is not a human child. Make no mistake. The proof bears a birthmark, a sequence of sixes. So says the Bible to all the apostles of Satan. He doesn't have it. He must have it. I've bathed him. I know every inch of him. If it is not visible on the body, it will be beneath the hair. Remove it. You must be devoid of pity. And the woman? She 
she is an apostate of hell. She will die before permitting this. I want to know what he said. I have a right to know. Robert, I want to know what he said. Look, I'm not just some bystander. I was the one that found him. I'm the one that's supposed to kill him. These are knives. He wants me to stab him. He wants me to murder a child. It's not a child. How can he know that? Maybe he's wrong. It's insane. I won't have anything to do with murdering a little boy. He's not responsible. I won't do it. Well, if you don't do it, I will.
Panda 4 to control. MP to Panda 4, come in please. Panda 4 in pursuit. American Ambassador. White Estate Park. Heading north, Seven Hills Road. Over. Got a shot. I'll be back later, right? MP to Zulu 7, you are requested assist Panda 4 in pursuit of White Estate Park, North Seven Hills Road. A possible diplomatic incident. Commit these two and entrust them unto our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Detail, attend, hit, present, hug. Ready, aim. Excuse me, Mr. President. When you're ready to leave, your car is right over there. In a moment. Yes, sir. <laughs> 